Corona for affection. I think that is the best thing we can really do. Yeah, I'll do that because I could I could see them both doing earthquake. And in which case I have levitate, so it wouldn't affect my streams. Hey, we the first time we've seen that in a while. Come on, let's hope for it. Let's hope for it. We haven't had enough. It doesn't affect Mysterious lately. Earthquake! Yep, we did it. Unfortunately, they both have Levit. Actually, crap, I didn't use Protect. I thought I did for a second. Okay, so we finally had a move not affect Mysterious that wasn't my own. And he goes ahead and does that. He attacks Walnut again, which Walnut really doesn't hurt that bad from it, despite them both being ground type. And again, affection makes ground moves miss with Levitate. Not bad. Oh, come on! When has Toxic ever missed? I have, like, never seen Toxic miss this much. It doesn't miss. It really doesn't. I never see it miss, ever, and yet all of a sudden it is. I don't get it. Uh, let's do, um, let's do Shadow Ball on Flygon. Shadow Bull on Flygon. Shadow Bull. <laughs> it's charging. Doing Flamethrower and Walnut protected itself. That was a good move. Okay. So we'll do that. That would have been super effective on, uh... That means that it's going to take damage or poison. He's probably going to heal it off. I probably should have attacked uh, Claydol. Ah, oh, well, this is going to do zero damage to anyone anyway. So it's not that bad. Okay. So Flygon's probably going to get healed this turn. So I would be better off using Toxic on that slot and using Shadow Ball on that Claydol. Because I'm going to outspeed Claydol if I'm not mistaken. Whoa! I didn't think he was going to actually attack! Uh... Dekim, you're dumber than you look, and that actually worked to your advantage because I was giving you more credit than you were worth. Uh, let's... Let's end up Marshall. Because that, I don't think it's going to do... Even if it does Solar Beam, it's going to take a turn to charge, and I don't see it doing that. I'm going to do Shadow Ball to take it out, and then it's the Flygon's going to go down for Poison. And I don't quite take it out, unfortunately. Oh, well. At least Flygon goes down for Poison. Earthquake. Uh... Crap, that's only gonna hurt Marshall. Okay, Marshall took it like a tank. This is a really interesting battle, actually. This is really close. Like, there's never been like a clear, you know, like right as soon as he takes out my fortress, I take out his Flygon. Like, this has been an interesting battle. I I, I hope more of them go like this, because it's nice. Oh, okay, fortress. This is the Pokemon I've been wanting to keep Corona around for. Uh, level 45, Bug Steel type, sturdy for the ability, protect, earthquake, explosion, and double edge. Interesting. I wanted to keep, um, as you might have guessed, I wanted to keep Corona alive so that I could fall back on it should he send that out. And once again, he's not healing, which very much surprises me. I was really expecting Hyper Potion usage because Ayn and Mir B both did it before this fight, yet he's not doing it for some reason. And not that I'm complaining, mind you. I mean, I'm actually kind of glad that we're not having to worry about it, but... Still, it's, it was something that I wasn't expecting. It's kind of being a nice surprise. Good new Shadow Ball. Mitchell, that Whisk Cash coming out, which is his next Pokemon. Level 46, Water Ground type. Oblivious for the abilities. Don't try attracting it. Has Protect, Earthquake, Waterfall, and Ice Beam. So that Fortress is able to do Protect with its tiny attack stat. And that Whisk Cash can Protect from its tiny attack stat. And that did more damage than I thought it would, actually. Yeah, well. Uh, we'll follow up with a Surf and another Shadow Ball. I think that's the best tactic we could really do. I didn't bother attacking that Fortress directly this turn because I had a feeling it was going to protect anyway, so I made good decisions. See, I'm making good decisions this fight. See, this shows how a battle, how I want battles to go in this. Like, I want them to be interesting to watch and not just really stupid. I mean, stupid battles are fun once in a while. I mean, they're fun to watch and they're kind of even more fun to look back on. But when every fight is just really stupid, I get kind of tired of it. And I'm like, I'd like to be strategic and show the strategies and ins and outs of double battles. You know, because that'd be kind of nice to do. So we took care of that. And check it out. We have Entei. So when I said we got another chance, once again, a one whistling Dixit, brother. It has the moves Shadow Rush, Leer, Bite, and Fire Blast. Note that if you didn't catch Enter the first time around, it is still level 40. It's not any more powerful than it was before. If he, if you did succeed in catching Entei, he would instead have Hound Doom, level 47, Dark Fire type with the moves Protect, Fire Blast, Sunny Day, and Solar Beam. Personally, I think that Hound Doom is really devastating, so I'm kind of glad to a degree that I didn't catch that Entei. I'm going to open up with Yawn right here, and 
what do I want to do? Let's do Confuse Ray. Uh, I don't want to do Confuse Ray. I don't want to do Shadow Ball. Uh, let's do Shadow Ball, even though it's going to get resisted. Let's hope we soften it up with some minus special defense. I'm just not sure if Affection's really going to last that much longer. So we'll go ahead and make Entei Drowsy here. I can see Entei using Fire Blast to take out my Fortress as well. I'm just mainly trying to not switch out right here so that I can send out my Corona for free and just take it. What? And just take out. Um, why did I think I had Fortress on the field? I think I was confusing his Fortress or mine for a second, though. So those of you that ran down to the comments to yell at me, they're like, You don't have Fortress out! You've got Marshall out! Yeah, that's why. Send out my, my, my Corona. Let's hope it doesn't do Earthquake, despite its tiny attack stat. It used Double Edge. Uh, oh, that could be potentially awkward. Um, I'll do Flame Wheel because I'm not gonna trust the lower accuracy of Fire Blast right now because this is kind of a tight spot. We'll do. Uh, let's do. Uh, I'm trying to decide what I should actually do here. Uh, we'll do Confuse Ray on Entei. I, I want to be really safe about how I attack it, because I don't want a repeat of last time. I want to catch Boss's Shadow Pokemon fairly quick. I don't want to have Rotten Luck, so that Fortress did not use Protect. There's Flame Wheel on it. We take it out. No problem. Okay. So this has been a pretty good battle for me. I'm content with this. Some of you might not be content this battle's been going on for about 10 minutes. But it's a boss fight, and it's an important story fight, so I don't want to speed through it or cut it out because, well, this is an important Shadow Pokemon. It's a legendary Pokemon battle, essentially. This would be like cutting out a legendary Pokemon fight in a in any other Pokemon Let's Play. So let's go ahead and throw out Granbull. We'll lower its attack so that it can't do Shadow Rush quite so easy. There we go. We'll lower its attack, and it should fall asleep right here. It does. Okay. Let's, uh... Let's see, I'm gonna do strength with my, well, no, I don't want to use my massive attack stat. We're gonna use a, um, use an Ultra Ball on my Gramble's turn, and I think I'm gonna use Affection to soften it up now that I thought more about it. Let's do Shadow Ball, well, let's do Psybeam. One! One, two, three, no! One, two, one, one. One is the loneliest number that you'll ever do. Two can be as bad as one. It's the loneliest number since the number one. One, 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 two, one, 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 two, three, one, 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 two. God, I've been here for 25 minutes! No exaggeration! My recorder shows this battle's been going on 25 minutes. Wow, what? I lose to a punk! Finally, it's over. In all the time I've been battling, my only loss came at the hands of Master Nascour and you. Now take this to your passport to terror and despair. He gives us the green ID badge. Or green, okay. Thinking of turning back now? Now's the time to do it. Going home to mommy. Da ha 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 ha. I like how dignified he walks out, and I also like how he would totally hit his head on the ceiling of the transport. Like, he's way too tall to ride this thing. Like, he probably has to, like, duck while riding it. In fact, you know what I can picture him doing? Like, you know, like, ducking, like, with his arms at his sides and, like, being like, Daki Moe! Like, some kind of superhero or something. I don't know. But, uh, yeah. We have yet another boss fight out of the way. So, I really, really hate to have a video that is just a boss fight and nothing else. So, just so that we don't have that, how about... So how about we see what makes this old man tick? And no, that's not what I mean. Oh, having trouble, are we? Perhaps you're lost in the expanse of this building? Maybe I am. 
Ah, then I should be happy to take you. Oh, where am I going to take you? Ho ho ho, well, since you asked, you deserve a reply. It's to your doom! <laughs> Bowpen. So, so we're going to use double intimidate here. There we go. And let's do Psybeam on that Dust Tox. I think it's Poison Type. I got it now. Maybe it is. I'm going to take my chances. And then I'm going to do Earthquake because Affection has Levitate, so I can do that. So 120 attack with Earthquake backing it and targeted on only one Pokemon. Let's see what this does. Especially because Grimer's a special defensive Pokemon, not physical. Let's see how this goes. Boom! We gotta shake its booty before it does. Whoa! Um, yeah, actually, I forgot about that. Dust Tox. Uh, even though it clearly flies, it well, it can still be hit by ground moves. I forgot that it does not have uh, Levitate for its ability. It has Shield Dust. So yeah, I guess that kind of showed off a bit of interesting trivia because even I forgot that first split second gonna send out Seviper. So yeah, we took out both of his Pokemon in one turn right there. And he's down to just Seviper, so let's do Psybeam and Earthquake once again. This is what I mean. Gramble there had no power, no problem one-hitting stuff. It probably could have even taken out that Dust Toxin one hit. Uh, I don't know if I, uh, actually I don't know if I go that far. It missed. So we got through this whole battle taking zero damage. I mean, Seviper, Dust Toxin, Grimer, I mean, they're not amazing Pokemon, but you get what I mean. This is kind of how fast we'll be able to fell trainers now that we got Earthquake on our side. And we have three Pokemon that have immunity to it, be it through type or through using Protect. Gah, so this is it. So, yeah, even though this video is mostly battles, that's kind of just what I'd like to say. Gramble's nickname's not going to be revealed for a bit longer, obviously, because I like to give 24 hours and all that, and, you know, I also like to give myself time to think about it, so we'll be revealing that later. But for the time, for the time I think we're going to end the